watching CapraCast. I'm Nat, he's Matt, and let's get started. All right, let's get down to Reigns of a Waterfall. This one was directed by Ron Moore. Exciting to hear that Ron Moore was so involved in this one. Yeah, which is great. I mean, first season, it's great to have him on there. He directed Definitely. one at the end of Battlestar, so it's nice to have him directing one at the beginning of CapraCast. Mm, poetic. Now, let's talk about the previews and this new sneak peek thing that they're doing. Right, so obviously we're following Caprica on Facebook, and they have the previews for every new episode up there week before. Super sweet. I mean, we saw three amazing clips for Reigns of a Waterfall. We saw uh, Daniel Greystone getting beat up, which was insane. And then we saw Zoe and Tamara, and along with Lacey, in that awesome little V Couldn't club. Couldn't believe that. That was crazy. Exactly. And then seeing Joseph become super thug, going up to Sam and saying, Balance it out. Balance it out. Yeah. So those were easily the three most intense parts of the episode, and it kind of sucked that we had already seen them yeah, going in. Yeah. It's a little unfortunate. Yeah. And I don't know if anticlimactic is the right word for I'm, it exactly. I'm going to go ahead and call it anticlimactic, because yeah. the absolute last moment when they dum -dum -dum hook you at the end, it's I'd already, already seen it. something we already seen it. Yeah. So, I don't know if I really dig that one. But anyway, let's start this off talking about the Greystones. Gotta say, cheers for our homegirl, Luciana Caro, the much needed publicist for the Greystone family, who plays the character Priya. Mm -hmm. Now, it, it's a tough as nail female, which we've seen her play, <laughs> but it's nice to see her dress in a skirt with some lashes. Yeah, and she's nice a girly pumps. girl in this one. A totally. tough girly girl, it's but a girly girl. <laughs> yeah, and she looks a little bit more like when she shows up to our party. Yeah, it's like great. Luciana Caro. <laughs> <laughs> now, the one thing I thought was interesting was her name was Priya, and yet when Daniel Greystone says, get Priya on the phone, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that he just doesn't care, that he wasn't paying attention, or if that was just a mistake that made it through, but he called her Priya. Man, you have Weird. got ears of craziness that you uh, heard that. <laughs> just pay attention. <laughs> details, details, details. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, uh, going to Amanda Greystone, she apparently has been, I don't know, either resigned or been kicked out of the hospital. That We see that at the opening of the show. She's coming out, all the news reporters are following her, she gets hit in the head by a broken piece of glass. Now, is it compelling? I don't know. I mean... I understand what she's what she's going through and, and why she's important to the story, but I just don't think I care about her that I'm much. I'm finding her a little naggy. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, she's tofu. Yeah, but you know what? I, I did I did enjoy her using uh, frack in the context that really only Starbucks has oh, gotten to play. Oh, uh, kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's, it's, it's so dirty. <laughs> oh, speaking of frack, they frack in front of their daughter, which they don't oh. know is their daughter, but still, that's a little awkward and very hilarious. I was so hoping that we would get to see the Cylon eyes <laughs> just like, I'm not looking! That was great. I'm so glad they pulled that off. Subtle, cute. It, it might not have even been written in. I'm hoping that was, I'm hoping that was Something the, the special editors effects did, guys. Yeah. Like, yeah, let's do that. It'd be hilarious. Oh my now, gosh. You know, with the Sister Clarice storyline coming in with the Soldiers of the One, I, I mean, don't care. I, I, I know that, again, it's important because that's where Zoe plays in, and then obviously they have an important role to play through the rest of the wars that we see and whatever, and but and I just, I don't, well, I don't know, I just don't like Sister Clarice, I think that's what it is. Maybe she becomes more likable later on. I mean, we know BSG has a history of very flawed, strong, weak characters. They're, mm -hmm. it, they're very multifaceted. And I, I sense that Sister Clarice will be like that too. I'm hoping but so But I just too. don't like her right now. Because I really like this mysterious dude that he was talking, that she was oh, talking gosh. to. And, and the apotheosis thing. Now we've got to thank CB2001 yes, for jumping that was really cool. right on that one to basically <laughs> describe for everyone. Apotheosis is to gain divinity, essentially. So, Apotheo. What, Greek, very good. Yeah. <laughs> now it's the kind of thing that makes sense in this context. Definitely. I mean, it's not necessarily to gain divinity per se, but it is to gain this immortality that Zoe has. Which She's people like Sister new. Clarice, I think, do see as a type of immort or divinity of yeah. in a sense. And there's definitely, there's definitely a religious, oh, where have we seen this before, where there's mm. a religious prophecy and some people believe it and some people don't. There's yeah. going to be a little bit more of that, Clash. which is cool. Definitely. Now, let's get on into the Adamas. <laughs> Joseph Adama is definitely starting to embrace his darker Toran side. I mean, even little Willie Adama apparently has roots as a baby thug star. Like, did you see him going there into Sam's little group and kind of be like, well, I've been in jail too. And did you guys see Duck in there? Oh, did you see Duck? right. That, that was, was cool. cool. A very cool that. cameo. I, I find it interesting because I almost feel like even though Joseph is little Willie Adama's father, he seems to be growing an attachment to his uncle, or seems mm -hmm. closer, or seems more interested in being close. Like, that's family to him, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, so it'll be neat to see at what point is Sam either officially taking over as father figure, or when does Sam, I don't know, die? When or does he, who like, knows, exactly. Something about his character doesn't seem to make it into BSG. We had no idea. 
this guy existed. No. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. Yeah. And I just love the fact that this meathead is living this warm, comfy, domestic life. And he just happens to be gay. Yeah, you it's know great. what? Again, I, we talked about this in BSG as well, but I just love that this BSG Caprica universe can take homosexuality and turn it into a completely normal thing. No one bats an eye at it. There is no discrimination against it. And you would never even know a character is gay no. unless they mention it or they're like, oh, my partner. And it's like a, yeah. a woman, woman, man, man. And they man, don't man. do the like stereotypical no. stuff you see on Will and Grace. No, there's it's no stereotypical like, like They just happen to have a different sexual preference. And it is great. It is cool to see. Definitely. Very cool to see. Well, an interesting culture note that I also like to mention because I am so down with the different colonies cultures is the Torons speak Greek. I mean, okay, I'm sure they're, Some Greek. they're very Hispanic, but I mean, it, uh, what Adelphi do you say? Adelphi Moon yeah. is like my brother, or, or Yamas, which is to our health. I mean, I thought it was kind of cool. I noticed it only because I'm Greek. Yeah, but. so in case you were wondering what those interesting <laughs> sort of cultural terms that he was throwing out there. The foreign words. Classic. Greek. Pretty cool. Very cool. Now, one particular thing that you noticed on the board. Yeah, uh, I also wrote this down on the board, but Marianne and on our boards brought up a point that I really wanted to talk about, which is, again, the idea of uh, characters, particularly female characters. BSG had really strong, sometimes flawed, but strong female characters. Yeah. Caprica seems to be lacking this so far, don't you think? You know what? Amanda is at a point where it's hard to judge her as a person. She's at an incredibly horrible personal crossroads. I know, she's kind of wallpaper. But though. yeah, she's just kind of lame. I mean, the only one that we could arguably say is strong for now is Zoe. And she's a robot. Exactly, she's a robot. She looks terrifying, so seems strong. Seems and she's got Moxie, okay, no, she's she's got Moxie for sure, but I now, mean. Now Lacey, I feel like, especially in this episode, when, when she was being so entertaining with the, do you have a lemon, do you have, the, like, there's just something about Lacey that I think if she's well written and continues along this path, could become much more. Exactly. She's a little awkward, but I sense that she's the one character that will f see her find her strength in mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. so. And then Slister Clarice, who knows? Who she cares? could be a very strong female character, but at this point we've seen her very weak. We've seen her sort of going off on some kind of drug bender. We've seen yeah. her. Yeah, oh, that's her family, right. I totally forgot yeah. about that. And we've that's seen right. her family like kind of look down on her, and it's really hard to say what is going to happen She's with her. She's a very Clarice. antagonistic character, very, yeah. very obviously. And then, I mean, Tamara, she is we, we don't hardly even know. know her. We hardly know. And Will we know her more? Maybe. Well, it says you lost in V-Bar. Okay, going into next week, Grave Dancing. Great Sweet name. name. <laughs> now, aside from the fact that Amanda could potentially be put in a grave by Sam, we've also got this concept of I don't the think, PR yeah, machine I don't dancing on Zoe's grave. Exactly. So it's got a cool double meaning there. Now in the preview, we do go through these things very, very, very carefully to see little frames here and there. We see Greystone with a pistol, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. We see, uh, I guess, people, janitors breaking into lockers. I guess this is some kind of snapping down Maybe on... Maybe trying to see... Well, I mean, in the last episode, we saw the cops getting all these warrants yeah. to search different things for Zoe, right? So, so I'm guessing there's a serious witch hunt for uh, terrorists going on at the school. Mm. And Sam abducts Amanda. Now, whether he actually kills her or not, I don't know. But Joe, Joe is pissed. pissed. <laughs> yeah, did you kill her? So there's some cool stuff going on in this episode. It's intense. He's becoming like such a mob boss. Oh my god, he's such a don. I love oh it. Oh my god. Now the sneak peek. I don't know how many of these we're going to be watching because they really are giving some stuff away and some good stuff. She has some gall to be pissed at him about doing this talk show. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't believe she she's actually pissed about yeah, it. Yeah, the idea it's her that she's fault that he's doing oh, it. It totally is. But I, I've got to say, the bickering that happened through it. it it's started to hit hard and then it started to just sound like noise mm. and then the last two lines were brutal. We're parents, not anymore. Yeah, that was a stab right there. Yeah, Whew. that was brutal. I was I was floored by that and it, it had better not be one of the best scenes in the episode because if I've seen that already, mm, I, don't want to, I don't want that to happen every week. Come on guys. <laughs> All right, so again, just got to mention that intro to CapraCast. That's You're going to see right. it again. You're going to see it again in a second. Please it's not help pretty. us. Yeah. Make our show better. <laughs> make it better. <laughs> so yeah, shoot us whatever you guys think would make a good intro, video, anything you've got. We'd love to see what you guys have in mind. And we'll see you guys in uh, two weeks for Grave Dancing, because something called the Olympics, I guess, is preempting it. OK, <clears throat> let's be excited for the Olympics, OK? National right. pride, It's Matt. in Canada. <laughs> it's actually being shot where Caprica's shot. Exactly. So that's almost exciting. Anyway, see you guys in a week and a bit. Bye.